Hi everybody, good morning. This is Jean here, Jean True Love from True Love Quilts For You. I am in my sewing room <laughs> and um, I just wanted to do a little video. Um, I know I've had quite a few s new subscribers. I've done this every year or so. Um, I t I'm taking you on a little tour of my sewing room um, for you new people. I know the ones that have been following me have known, have seen my old sewing room and my other house that we moved from. It was a much smaller room. Um, the, the whole reason why I have my large sewing room here um, which is a dream, it's just so, so wonderful, um, is because we moved into this home and when we downsized and this was the largest room. This was the originally, this room that my sewing room in is, was originally the family room. There's, this house has a family room and it has a living room. I, well, since I love this house if I can have this sewing, if I can have the family room as my sewing studio, which our children and um, my husband all made possible for me. And it, it is a dream. I started out sewing um, with our large family. I have the 10 children um, in our larger home. I started sewing when I was, when I started in my basement, uh, which was a nice basement. It was, it was a lovely finished basement. Um, but. I'm not a basement cellar dweller. Um, it was a lovely basement, but I wanted to be upstairs. And anyway, um, as, as a few children moved out of the home um, to get married, I sort of took over two of their bedrooms and made my old sewing room. But I've just cleaned my sewing room. <laughs> you know you have to do that occasionally. Oh my word, I have so much stuff. I have been, I've been accumulating this for over 50 years. I mean, I really have. Um, some of my fabric is 25, 35 years old. And to me, it's art. To share with it's you just... um, where I sew. And I always say I'm so very grateful and blessed and, and thankful for, for what I have. It's really over the top, it's really wonderful. Um, it's what I do. Um, I spent, as you know, my entire adult life raising children and um, devoted all my energy. And now um, that I have the time really to um, indulge in my passion, um, actually 2020 and <laughs> 2021, I haven't, I, I haven't indulged too much, um, but I'm getting back into it and I'm being inspired. And I, also, I always feel you can get a bit more inspired if you tidy up your space. Um, when, I was, when I was, oh, a million years ago, I used to sew, before I was even married, in a small closet. I had my sewing machine and I had two shelves in my closet. But oh, I was so proud of that. I was so pleased. And um, I, w I had a little tiny cottage and I would go and I would make little things. And I, that's what I would sew for myself and make dresses and skirts. Now, it's... Fabric is so expensive that it used to be cheap um, back in the, 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 the late 60s and the 70s to make your clothes. Um, where now, it's, it's, I find it more expensive because fabric is so expensive and I get my clothes at discount shops anyway. Um, and so I, I don't sew clothing. I did that forever, but I don't anymore. Um, I make my quilts. I've only been quilting now. It's been about 15 or 16 years, 17 years maybe. Um, I've, I've really, really enjoy my hobby. And most of this obviously is cotton fabrics, but I had been collecting fabrics. Um, so I just wanted to share with you my sewing room. I'm gonna take my camera down and I'm gonna give you a tour. And again, um, if you need a new like oomph because life has been so very difficult, tidy up, tidy up your sewing room, move things around, get rid of some stuff. Um, we don't need it. We don't need it. <laughs> Listen to me. Get rid of stuff. <laughs> Throw it my way. <laughs> I like my stuff. And um, just organize things and you get a whole new lease. I did. I rearranged my furniture. It's so funny. I think that you know that, um, uh, that our house we used, we came from was much larger. This is a big, huge room. I'm, I'm very blessed. But um, I had walls. Again, I addressed this in my last video. I had walls. And this house, I have no walls. <laughs> I used to move furniture. Oh, I was the bane of my kids' existence. Every, six, every three months, let's move some furniture. Let's move some furniture. I can't move furniture as much in this house because it's a bit smaller and it's sort of open concept and where the furniture is, it is. And I have managed, but in my sewing room, my husband and our children built all my built-ins, which I will show you, but I have these two islands, again, which I was to show you, which were sort of um, together, and I, I moved them. I, I moved them. I thought, oh, I like this. I like this, because we have a little seating area. But um, yeah, I just wanted, this is an update of my tidied up sewing room, and um, 
the, the, what makes me happy and what fills my day. I have some tools down here because um, our, our, um, uh, the, the boys are building a new deck out front, out the back here. Um, so there's some tools here. So you must forgive the tools, but I'm going to get a new deck. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring my camera down and I'm going to show you my updated clean, well, don't look too hard, <laughs> my clean and tidied and organized sewing room. So I hope you enjoy this little tour, folks. And again, this is True Love Quilts for you and love from the true loves. All right, bye. So I'm coming into my sewing room and this is a wide opening from our kitchen. So it doesn't have a doorway. Well, this was the family room. So I just put these curtains up. Just on a spring tension rod there. Just to sort of delineate the kitchen from my sewing room. So coming into here, this is our little, my little coat closet right there. And some of these uh, projects you will have seen in my previous videos. That was a, I did a project, I did a tutorial on that little runner up there. Blue and white and yellow. Yes, I did pull my blue. Um, blue's not my favorite color, <laughs> but I made that little runner. There's a tutorial on that. And also these little hexagons, wherever there's a square inch of wall, <laughs> I made little quilts and did that. So that was over here as you walk in. And then I have a sitting area. As I was saying to you, these, this room is, uh, was our son's family room. Hi. Oh, what are you? Oh, 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 tools in here. oh. <laughs> Maxwell. Okay. Maxwell's going to get rid of the tools. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. Um, okay. Okay. He doesn't want to be videoed, but he's, you're a good boy. Thank you, darling. Um, yeah, the, all of the tools were in here, brought, brought in out of, from the rain, but I'll come to that. He's going to, we, they're redoing my deck, which is awesome. Thank you, Maxwell. Um, must excuse that, <laughs> dear boy. So I'm backing up here. This is our little sitting area. <laughs> what I have here, again, just backing up. Um, some of the furniture, oh, it's my, my, my air freshener. <laughs> I had done a tutorial on that, uh, my hexagon little topper there. Love that. And, um, oh, I had made these, <laughs> these little, whatever they are, they're called honeycomb or, or, um, pine you know, cones or artichokes. They're from old books, um, old books from, um, Reader Digest books from the sixties and the seventies that you can get at thrift stores. They're not good books. And I just covered a little lanterns, little party lanterns, made them. They were decorations for our, our daughter's um, tea party. I had them hanging all over the place. They were just lovely, real sweet. This is my, my grandmother's old china clock. Just some, just some little things I have there. My old pie chest here, that's full of my china. We had 12, no, we had 16 dining room chairs from our old dining room. And I, I salvaged one, I kept one. <laughs> Because we had a huge formal dining room uh, with a huge great big table and china closet and two buffets and we couldn't bring it here. So I, I bought one chair. <laughs> this was my, it was my lovely dining room set. And I, I had all, had rooms full of furniture, but this little sofa here and this little sofa here were my mother's. She was in an assisted living home and I decorated that the last year of her life. And it was sweet. And, um, I, I made, I, I bought them along. I thought, well, I'm not going to get rid of my mom's things. Even though I didn't grow up with these. These were new when, when she went into the assisted living. And there's an old, I, I think I've shown you that quilt I have. I, I um, have a bunch of quilts that I put over sofas every now and again. I had bought a new rug online. I think this was like $49 for this lovely little gray rug. Cheap, Amazon. We had this piece of furniture, which is old. Um, but ever so comfortable, but you sit in it and it's not like today's furniture, which is like, boom, you sit down and it eats you up. You know, all of our kids have these big leather furniture suites, which are lovely and cozy, but this, you have to really sit up. Everybody comes in and sort of like, oh, this is how people used to sit, but we like it as we got older. It's nice and supportive. That must be 50, 60, 70 years old. And then I just got these pillows. I just got those pillows from, from home goods. <laughs> I, I liked them. I thought they were sweet since my husband's from England. London. That was a little trash picked table, little pie table. It was ruined, so I just painted it. 
and you can't even see the table underneath it. And this, what my our husband built this um, this little half wall here. And again, all my lovely, just a million things there. You can't even tell. There's so many things um, from my from our other house. I like Victorian stuff. You know, I just like stuff. And then I th I did a tutorial on my deer head. Remember my um my stuffed deer head that Jen and I made. I have a, uh, not a tutorial, I did it. We had a craft day that we made them. <laughs> that, that was the funniest thing. That was way back, that was a couple years ago. But I stuck my deer head up there, prior to place. <laughs> and just bits of wall that I could have that I have a million things on. So again, pulling back, this is our little, so, this is our little seating area. So when the family do come, <laughs> We just sort of, we sort of gravitate to here. It's funny that. Oh, people might be wondering, we have lo lots of, we have two massive huge windows. There, there in the back window, there. Um, my, um, I, there's a video that my husband, um, his job was um, putting solar controlled window film on the windows. So there is zero fading in this room. The, the windows have, on all of our, on our house, my other house, have um, this solar control window film, which uh, cuts out the UV and the UV, the, the um, harmful rays that we couldn't have done that without that. So you can't even tell it's on the windows, but boy, it's fantastic. That was his job. That's how he um, supported his large family. So here's another little chair of my mom's. And then there is my lovely little office area. Again, my husband built that. And these are a couple of my little quilts. It's a bit of, I, I have a lot of stuff. There's a lot to look at, so I have a lot of stuff, but it, it makes sense to me. <laughs> and there, there's, my, um, there's my elephant quilt <laughs> that I hung in, a, in a, um, a lovely quilt show. And also my girl. My Patty C quilt, which I've done a, again a loose tutorial on. There's my large clock that was going into my kitchen over there, and then up on the the uh, up on the ledge. I've said it before, every single sewing room needs a sumo wrestler. Silly. And then all of my lovely mannequins. I know someone's going to say, where did you get the big scissors from? I got them from an online shop called Spirit of Halloween. Now, we don't celebrate Halloween, <laughs> um, but they, they are there. We got them. I think they're like something like $18 or something. They're just plastic. But um, so many people say, where did you get your scissors from? <laughs> Behind that door is a little bathroom, which is very, very convenient. <laughs> And again, just my computers, my monitors, that's where I do my editing, my videos, my books. Now the pace de resistance is my lovely shelving, floor, almost to ceiling. But I just wanted to show you this. This was my, this is my, um, an, a kitchen island. This is a kitchen island where I do my cutting. And this was the other way around. This was this way near my other island, which is my ironing station. But I, I moved it out here into the room to really separate this area, my seating area, from my sewing area over there. Um, but I didn't want to see, I have my, some quilts and stuff, I didn't want to see that, so I just made this little um, skirt here, which I've just tacked up, tacked up. I think I got that fabric at Walmart. Sweet fabric, sweet fabric, inexpensive. And I just gathered a skirt on that band and then just tacked it up under my, uh, my cutting table there. Which, as I say, I got that island from Wayfair uh, online. It's a nice, nice size island. As you know, I love my Martelli cutting mat. Love my Martelli mat. I've had this for years now, and it's like brand new. Brand spanking new. So coming around here again... In our other sewing room, in, at home, at home, in my other house, I should say, um, we had these shelf, shelving unit. My husband took uh, about 70% of the shelves, and then we had to buy some more shelves. Um, but again, these are, these are shelves, they're 11 and a half inches wide. 
um, and they're pre-finished. They're completely finished. We got these at Home Depot. Is it Home Depot or Lowe's in this country? And then he has supports up and down, and then they're all, they have um, brackets all supporting my shelves. I do have everything in pretty decent order. As you know, blues and greens are my least favorite. <laughs> But I do actually pull some down. I'm doing a, a new project right now and I was using some blues. And um, there's my apothecary jars up there. Again, just filled with notions. I can get to those uh, jars very carefully because I go up, I go up my ladder. This was a, this was a real treat um, because the, uh, the, the room is a two-story room. And, I, and we knew we were going to be having my floor to ceiling shelves. And I said, well, how in the world do I get up to the top? I don't want to have to be grabbing my step ladder. And so um, my husband, we ordered this, uh, this ladder kit with the railing. And it um, took a long time to put this actually together, this library ladder. But boy, it is wonderful. And don't worry, I'm very, 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 very careful when I go up. I go very, very slowly. When I go up, I, go, I stay close to the ladder. That's why we put the rails on, and I feel safe. I do feel safe on it. Um, it's, it's rated for 400 pounds. I'm not quite that. <laughs> I'm getting there. Uh, so there again, there's my jars up there. I'm trying to, trying to keep this steady. And then I have an, an entire, um, my last t sewing room tour, I have an entire story about my mural. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, um, a, a, there's a story of my mural and my little houses, my shelf and my turtles. That is a story. A good friend painted the mural. Uh, we chose the houses and the names for our kids. A good friend made the names and then the turtles were carved for us. But again, that's a whole nother story. But that spans the entire uh, I believe it's 20, 26 or 30 foot or something of the room. So again, my fabric I, I um, categorize, as you can see, loosely. I have, I have to do it again because I've been pulling out a lot of fabrics. My reds and my pinks and my blacks and my, my creams. And again, my blues, my, there's my yellows, my blues and the green on the top. I have over there are my stripes, my pre-cuts. Down here are my solids. There's just notions under there and my other sewing machines. And just notions in those little crates there. They were like $5 at the craft store. Oh, there's my, uh, my tripod. Yes, there is a story behind my crayon boxes. <laughs> I, I envied and I coveted and I was jealous of kids when I was in, you know, fifth and sixth and seventh grade who had, who had a box of 48 crayons because <gasps> I only ever had the 12 box. <laughs> people who were, people in the 60s and the 70s can relate to that. Well, I remember a girl, Linda, she had a 48 box of crayons. <gasps> I wanted to be Linda so bad when I grew up. So over the years, our children have even just surprised us with my boxes of crayons. Now you can get them and kids don't, the kids, don't, the kids even use crayons, but these are very precious to me and our children have gifted us crayon boxes. Look at this, 120. <gasps> I like die. I like die. Oh my word. <laughs> so that's my silly little thing with my crayon boxes. And again, I like, I like sayings, I like stuff. And I have some, some favorite photos. Obviously, we have a million, a million um, family pictures, but there's, there's our, two of our sons. And I like, I like sayings. And I like that one. Yes. It's so true. Isn't it? Some of these things, again, were my mom's. Old. And uh, oh, around here, here's just some of my threads. Um, oh, I, I, and also this, this little board here is when the, the grandkids come. You've seen these. They make the, they make the um, like poetry from them. They make, they make uh, little, little phrases and sayings. These are all little magnets on a magnet board. They come and sit here in this corner and just, you know, uh, for, for a long time on end, enjoy that. 
these lovely boxes that you can get from craft stores. They're not expensive at all. These, these look like books, beautiful, beautiful volumes. Um, they hold all my, like my uh, specialty rulers that I have, some templates and things like that. And again, some things that are precious to, to me. A dear friend, Linda, she got me this sign. I don't have any, I don't have any sisters of the flesh. I have spiritual sisters. <laughs> My lovely signs. And I used to have a blue Volkswagen looked exactly like that. <laughs> I love my bugs. These are some birdhouses that we made and painted that were actually hanging on my other porch at home. But um, I bought them here. This is, another, this is another little hexagon runner that I had made. I believe I had done the tutorial on that. And just hung it up. Anywhere, anywhere there's a space. These are my, one of my favorite, one of my most uh, popular videos, my box back bucket boxes <laughs> in varying sizes, these ones, which you can see I have, I have, I've, I use them. My patterns, there's some uh, 10 inch squares. I use these um, clips here to photograph my quilts. There's some uh, scissors and thread in there. I like them. So that's a very popular video I have if you want to check that out. These are some of my books and just some other things that I have here. Again, going back into my little seating area. And then coming around here to my actual sewing space. I'm, I'm, I'm sewing in, I'm filming into the light, you must excuse that. There's my little half wall. Again, my books and notions and everything. Here's this island with some quilts. And there's my, I have a Sailrite sewing machine, a heavy duty sewing machine, and I have my brother's sewing machine, which is a computerized sewing machine, which gives me the ability to use all the decorative stitching. And then I have my Juki, which is my straight stitch machine, which I use most of the time. People will say, why in the world do you need so many machines? Well, uh, if you're, if you're um, um, an avid quilter or sewer, seamstress, you understand if you, if one of your machines go down and has to go into the, um, into a, um, to get fixed, you, you're a bit sick about it. <laughs> so this was my, this is my lovely mega brother sewing machine. I love this one. And my, my, my Juki. I just cover them up. I do have sewing machine covers, but I just grabbed, again, I just grabbed some quilts and I just cover them up. I like these hat boxes. I have hat boxes all over the place. They store an awfully lot of things. I like hat boxes. And I have some of uh, fabric down here and my some 10 inch squares. Just storage, 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 storage. Can't get enough storage. Oh, here's my little tripods. <laughs> every, every sewing room needs a silver candlestick. And again, I had gotten these um, fabric boxes uh, from Walmart or from Home Depot, I think. And they were just gray. Uh, I think I did another video on this. They were just gray. So I just, I just stuck, a, it's a 10 inch square. I just cut out for the handle and for that little um, label part. Some of them are different. Um, I, just, I just glued the add on. I didn't finish it, I just glued them on. Makes them pretty. It's a little bit of a mess right now. That's where I store my bags and it's my rubbish. And this was my this was our kitchen island in my other house and again let me move this tripod here um this is my kitchen island and i had a huge kitchen and my boys were like no we get you take your kitchen island with you mom and i just made that i just have a hunk of batting and an old piece of fabric here and this is where i sew but it's nice because it, it's nice and it's nice and big uh, i quite like that and i have my cord over there and um yeah and then that goes out to our deck which is being worked on <laughs> right now in our backyard there's our barn out there and again it's a bit of a mess because maxwell's pull, pulling up the old you can see the old decking look at that <laughs> you can see that old decking but uh yeah we have these four little bird houses here which birds come they come every year 
I bought them actually from our other house. They were on our porch. And we had birds in those bird nests, bird houses for years. We bought them, and, and even in this house, <laughs> birds come. Ah, uh, there's my Maxwell. He's such a good boy. He's pulling up all 10,000 <laughs> screws. <laughs> yeah. So it's a bit of a mess, but I'll show you when we tidy that up. So anyway, that's our, that's what you see when we walk in from our back. This is what we see. I'm so very, very blessed. I'm so very grateful that I have this room, large room, again, two-story room, that when our son had it, he had a sectional here, just had a lovely sectional right along this wall with a coffee table, sort of a chaise lounge over there. And then on this wall right here, there was a big, huge television with a, like a, a lovely desk underneath. But I don't have a television in, in this room, which is fine. I listen to music. I listen to music when I'm sewing. And um, I realize how very blessed I am and very grateful that my family have made this possible for me. Having raised our lovely children and my lovely family and it all, everything uh, working out <laughs> at the end of the day. We're very, very blessed. So there's my Patty C. <laughs> and it was so funny. I made her with, I made her in the, our other home, <laughs> right? I made her in our other home. And look at that, how she fits right there. She was meant to be. She came home. <laughs> and that's Cheryl, my elephant. That was a project that, again, I did tutorials on. She didn't quite fit. We had to sort of turn her around on that corner there, but that's okay. She looked lovely at a big at a quilt show hanging up. It was quite it was quite awesome. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed my lovely little tour of my sewing room. My new clean, tidy sewing room. Uh, I liked I like the fact that I put that there, sort of um again separating my sewing area from our lovely sitting area here. So I wish you could all come in and have a cup of tea with me because we come in here, sit and have a cup of tea and chat. We have soft lighting here. We do have the bright lights. We have the spotlights. But of an evening time, we just put on the, the soft lighting and come in and have a chat and sit down, discuss our day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, folks. And again, thank you for supporting me and um, following along. This is when you see my videos. This is where I am doing what I do. All right. Love from the true loves. Bye-bye.